my name is Kat and I'm here to lead you guys through a cardio kickboxing workout. I am with UMBC Recreation. I'm a group exercise instructor for UMBC um, and we're going to have some fun today. So in this cardio kickboxing workout, what you're going to need, your own body, a good pair of sneakers, double tie your laces so that you don't have to tie them mid-workout and lose any precious time a good clear floor space so that you can travel either front and back or side to side. We will be kicking, so make sure you're not going to kick anyone or anything as you do that. Same thing with punching. Um, I have these foam tiles on top of some carpet, on top of concrete, just to protect my joints a little bit. You don't need all of this. We will come to the floor at one point for a plank and a, another core-based movement. So if you do have a mat or a towel handy, you can grab those. Um, yoga mat works as well. Any kind of sweat towel so you can towel yourself off and also use it on the floor for a little bit of a no slip grip in your forearm plank. No weights today. We're going to do everything body weight and have yourself some hydration handy as well. I will be giving you um, kind of recovery breaks in between our main movements so that you can take a sip of water if you need it. As with any workout, be sure to consult with your physician beforehand to make sure it's right for you before beginning anything brand new. And for more workouts with your lovely team of UMBC group exercise instructors, be sure to give us a like and a follow on both Instagram under at UMBC Rec and on YouTube at UMBC Rec TV. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get it started. We are going to do 12 different movements today, and we're going to repeat that circuit three times. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We've got punches, we've got kicks, and we have some core and some leg movements too. A little bit of everything. It'll be full body. It'll be fun. Listen to your body. Do what feels right for you. You can always amplify or decrease the intensity as you choose. As long as you move, you win. Even if you're not doing exactly what I'm doing, just move. I'm going to hit the start button. We are going to have both music, a little bit of some background beats like I normally have been having for you guys. So you can always play um, something else if you prefer. There's the beats. They're starting up. And timer. Let's start this timer up too. You'll hear a little ding. Inhale and exhale. 
pushes forward, bending at both the hips and the knees, weighted heels, and that whole foot just kind of gripping the floor there. Last one, legs wide, side lunge over to the right, pump pulse, and the left. Exhale, picture your target. 
to the thigh hip. Bam. Last one. Yes. Shake it out, shake it out. Jabs and crosses. We put them together. Make a nice little sandwich here. Okay. Left leg back. Turn to the corners. Left leg a little ahead of the right. Two fists. We're gonna go jab and cross for four. And then we switch. Three, two, one. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Three, two, one. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Three, two, one. You notice now my right foot's a little ahead of my left for stability. I added a double. Double, 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 double. Three, two, one. Hey, double, double. Come on, three little hops. Three, two, one. Yeah. All right, step touch. We've got hooks and bob and weaves here. A bob and weave is basically you, a, when you get jump key, a hook is to the side of the face and through the mouth, or through the face, not through the mouth, really. So get up, we've got two, two, left hook, two, right hook, two, under, under, hook, under, under, hook, like you're stirring your soup, bring your fist over and through. Hook. You can speed it up. Down, up, down, hook. Hey. Four, three, two. You lose, you lose. We'll shuffle. Four, uppercuts, under the chin, through the face and up. Get low, toes all turned out. Fist, under the chin, turn that hip, turn that hip, turn. Under. Now, if you don't want to go for the chin, maybe you want to go for the gut today. You can do that as well. You choose it though. Doubles, double, 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 hook. Bring in that punch back with as much force as you took it out. Hip turn, hip turn. Last one. Yeah, step, touch. Okay, we're gonna move back to lower body. It's gonna be alternating lunges with a knee smash or hip smash. So we're gonna start right leg back, double pulse, Woo, catch your balance, smash, other side. Double pulse, smash, double. Now both knees, try to get them as low as you can go, maybe 90 degrees toward that floor. And whatever leg goes back, hands go the opposite side so you can pull. This is cardio, kickboxing, and core. Here's your core right there. Last one. Good job. Step touch. Uppercuts come back. And we're going to add in an elbow up. Use the bony part of your elbow. We're going to do four uppercuts. You're going to open your palm, almost like you're brushing your hair, and taking that elbow up the nose. So uppercuts for four, chin, chin, elbow, open palm, elbow, open palm. Four uppers, four, three, two, elbow up, up, reset, up, speed it up, four, Three, two, one, elbow four, two, one, uppers four, three, two, elbows up, four, three, two, uppers four, elbows up, 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 turn the hips, and one time, march. Okay, we've got slow push kicks. So you're gonna utilize the ball of your foot to kick someone in the shin.
chin or the knee. I don't want you to get too high right now. Let's just start it up. Show you from the side. Knee up, push ball your foot in and down, other side. Knee up, push in, down. Up, maybe a little lean back, and down. Up, extend, in, up, out, in. You gotta balance on that opposing leg. And if you want to, up, bout, up, bout, up, push, up, push. Where's your target? So go for shin or knee, right? Last one. March. How are we feeling? I'm already feeling a little bit of sweat in here. I can't lie. <laughs> Let's do roundhouse kicks now. So roundhouse. The back of that leg. That hamstring I was talking about. You really want to focus. One heel in. Heel to your booty. And use your shoelaces. Crosses. 
down the center, a little bit of an angle, working those obliques. Guard back up, right and left. So a little bit more turn, but still the same fierceness and intensity, bringing the punch back to you. Doubles, double. Hey, do you want to go all out? One, two, one, two. Lift your feet, lift your feet. Keep turning your fists.
into our shoe. We've got that lunge with that smash. So right leg goes back, double pulse, and smash. Other side. Left leg back, smash. Opposite hand, over. Exhale, tall. Up. 
up, back down. Hands behind the head. Right shoulder, left thigh. And then extend, right arm, right, uh, right arm, left leg. Other side, left shoulder, right thigh. And extend over. Exhale. Extension. And maybe you can speed this up. Up to you. And you can even choose how low you extend that leg. Put 
putting those one and two punches together. Last time. Three, three, two. March. Bob and weave traveling. So we'll travel right. Put with the left arm. Travel left. Right arm. Get low. Find yourself. Find your opponent. This. Two. 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 How about two hooks? Hook. Hook. Two. Hook. Hook. Two. Hook. Hook. That way you can get a little more hip in there. Hook. 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 More legs, more core. Final round. So let's make it best round. Down and up. Lift the heel. Last one. Yes. Kickbox, you're always powering through your legs, through your core, to your fist. It all resonates from the ground up. That core transferring that power. Let's prove it in uppercuts. Legs wide, fist, right, left. The harder you push through that floor, the more power is going to go through your core to your fist. Turn in those hips. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Let's that doubles. Double, double. Hook, hook. Find your power. I want to see you sweat right now. It's a little muggy in my basement, so I'm feeling extra sweat. <laughs> Last two. And one. March. Lunge with knee lifts. We are getting there. So that lunge back. Right leg back. Arms to the left. Smash the hip. Feet over and over tracks for balance. Two. Pull. Two. Whatever side you pull those hands to, they get to stay there as you reset. Pull. Hook. Weight that front heel. You can take it slower to find your form. Get one more out of here. If you're getting even more, you're going faster. Whew. March. Uppercuts and ascending elbows. Come back. That elbow up. Brush your hair out real good. <laughs> Ready? Bait base on nice and mean. Uppercuts. Four. Three. Two. Elbow right. Hook and left. Open palm. Four, four, three, two. Open palm right. Brush your hair. Graze your ear. Speed it up. Four, three, two, one. Elbow, elbow. Four, elbow. Hook. Four, hook. How about four elbows right here? Four, three, two, one. Upper cuts. Elbows up the nose. Four uppers. Four, three, two, one. Push kicks. I think those are our last four moves right here. Oh, we are there. All right, March got something fierce right now. We are going to finish on a high note for these last four. All right, push kick. Ball the foot. Up. Push. In and down. Up. Push. So you notice when I started doing it, my kick was pretty high, so I lost my balance pretty fast. So I'm going to go a little bit lower. I'm still getting that extension. My hips. My quads tightening. And I'm going to speed it up. About. About. Keep your hands up. By your face. 
up, find your target, up, 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 march, roundhouse kick, three steps, sweat coming out of my eyeballs, or maybe it's tears right now, because we're getting to the end, three steps, heel into your butt, kick out with those laces, turn that heel, one, two, three, one, two, three. Maybe to find yourself, you don't need your hands at your face. I want you to get there, but if you need hands on hips, to focus on legs, do what you gotta do. And then hands can come up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Out. Find your pace. Heel in. Those laces. You don't gotta match me, remember. Low, last one. Let's take it to the floor, forearm plank. Take your way down, last two moves. I'm not gonna use my towel on this side. <laughs> I think my room's a little humid down here. That's not helping me. So, I'm just gonna be on my phone mat. Shoulders over elbows, forearms, like the number 11. If you're on your knees, push your hips forward, bring your legs back, and extend one arm at a time. As slow as you need to go to keep yourself from rocking and rolling. I'm gonna take my legs up, and a tip is to have your legs wide for balance. You wanna make it harder, you bring them closer together. That's too hard for me right now. I'm gonna admit that. All of our punching and kicking. <laughs> I can feel it work till my core is getting pretty tired. Woo, he's down. Last movement, and we are gonna stretch after this one. Okay, last 40 seconds of work. On your back, that bicycle, crunch, and then that extension. Find yourself. Woo, knees up, back down. Shoulder up. <laughs> And extend. Shoulder up. Extend. Now since we're on the last set, we want to make it harder. Keep your shoulders up. Up. Extend. Up. Extend. So you're keeping your shoulder blades off the floor as much as you can. Cross. Extension. Up. Extend. Woo! Yes, holy core. Last one. Hug knees in. You did it. Cross your ankles. Roll yourself up. Sip of water right here. This is our cool down phase. Cheers to you right now. <laughs> Clink our glasses together. Okay, so I do want you to come up to standing. We're gonna stretch upright. Other 
leg that's supporting you on the floor, the knee is bent, your hips are going back, you're really getting into the back of this leg, those hamstrings from those roundhouse kicks. yourself to test your balance a little bit more. Just whatever is best for you. You work hard, you play hard, you cool down and stretch hard. Alright, release. Same legs forward now, toe is up. You're always going to know which side is tighter because you are going to that stretch so much more intensely. It's going through the hammy, but also your calf. So I really feel it in my right calf right now. Set the sole of the foot down. And bring yourself up that same leg. If you need to hold on to something, rotate out. Ankle on your thigh. Flex the foot. Find somewhere. Focus. I'm going to focus on you guys. Focus. Open that hip. Breathe. Down. Take the leg nice and wide. Step them out. Turn your toes out. Sink yourself down. So it's kind of like opening a gate. So opening your legs right here. Stretch it through those inner thighs. Drop your right shoulder, look left. Come into the center. Oh my goodness, other side. Into the center, push your chest forward, ground and arch your spine up. Step your way in. Bring your right shoulder across your body. Onto your forearm. Look over to the right. You can wiggle yourself out. Open up the arms. Other side across. Look over. And then take these hands behind your back. I want you to make a fist down to the earth. Pressing away, opening your chest. Pulling down, releasing and stretching your muscles is just as important as warming up for your workout and the workout itself. Whatever movement you do. You want to cool down your mind to kind of get out of workout mode a little bit. You want to bring your heart rate down, super important. We don't want to keep super high heart rates and just kind of stop and let blood pool in our lower body. We don't want to pass out. And we don't want our muscles to be so just contracted and tight. We always want to get full range of motion in everything we do, healthiest joints and muscles possible. Down. 
start out or we get into it, we might pull on our neck and not even realize it. So if that was you, let's just go do that. And if not, neck stretches always feel good. Into the center. Inhale up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale, pull in. Exhale. UMBC Recreation again. My name is Kat. I'm doing the cardio kickboxing classes um, all fall 2020 semester virtually so you guys can find us yet again. Like, subscribe, follow, whatever the options are on the different social medias. But Instagram is UMBC Rec, at UMBC Rec, and then YouTube is UMBC Rec TV.